I'm Haley, and I'm an exhibitions manager at the Agra Khan Museum. Part of the role of the exhibitions team is to help transform an idea into a reality in the gallery. For our latest exhibition, Sanctuary, we were lucky to work with Azra Aksamiya, the exhibition designer, and Michael Shaniel, the exhibition curator, to help bring this idea to life. In this session, I'm going to talk about three design interventions and some of the challenges and solutions the exhibitions team encountered in the process. The first challenge was for us to source thousands of secondhand t-shirts in order to build the architecture of the gallery that Azra designed. In order to build the loom walls that Azra designed, we needed to source at least 2,000 secondhand t-shirts in only four weeks. We started a t-shirt drive at the museum. We put a call out to the museum community and visitors to donate as many secondhand t-shirts as possible. In just four weeks, we had received over a thousand t-shirts from our community. And while that was amazing, we still needed another thousand more. We were lucky enough to be put in touch with Rachel at Penny Arcade Vintage in Toronto. And through her vintage store, Rachel helped us source another thousand secondhand t-shirts. To put your mind at ease, we sent all of these to a professional laundry service in order to clean the shirts so they wouldn't pose a risk to visitors or the artworks on display. Next, the t-shirts went to Juiceworks, the exhibition fabricator based in Toronto. Juiceworks took all of these t-shirts, they stripped them, they sorted them by color, and they knotted them to create these strings that form the loom walls. Not only did Juiceworks knot and string the t-shirts, they sorted them by color and created a color gradient based on the theme of each section in the exhibition. One of the key themes of Sanctuary is environmental sustainability. And with Azra's design and Michael's vision for the gallery, the exhibition's team worked to identify as many sustainable, recycled and recyclable materials as possible to help reduce the carbon footprint of Sanctuary. Adhesive vinyl is frequently used in exhibitions to display text, graphics, and labels. For this exhibition, we wanted to reduce the amount of vinyl that we were using, and we worked with our supplier, Icon Visual, to source a recyclable form of adhesive vinyl. Another way that we reduced the environmental impact of the labels and graphics in Sanctuary was working with local artist Joel Cottrell, who hand-lettered all of the exhibition text on the wall. For some of the display prints in the gallery, we decided to use falcon board, which is a recyclable alternative to foam core. For this 60-foot process drawing created by Azra Aksamiya and her team, we decided to use a recyclable fabric material for the printing. This HP light fabric seemed like the perfect choice for an artwork that is focused on the social and environmental impact of the textile industry. Thanks for joining me today, and thanks to our partners and suppliers for their work in bringing this exhibition to life. 